In this example, I've machined the top setup of this Blisk billet. The stock has been partially machined by the material manufacturer, and we are required to set the G54 to the point on the top face in between both perpendicular surfaces. There is one set of clearance holes at 8mm diameter and one pair of dowel pins for fixturing purposes at 5mm diameter. Both sets of holes have also been pre-drilled through the bottom so that when the part is turned over to machine the opposite side we have a known set of features to reference off. In this particular case we couldn't machine all of the material down to the bottom of the part due to a combination of available tooling being either too short and the work holding causing obstructions. Looking at the bottom setup here, I've imported the stock after the top setup. Usually the way in which this particular part is datumed means we have to set the G54 on the bottom of the part as well as at the midpoint between the machined parallel faces here and here and perpendicular face here. The remaining stock causes accessibility problems when trying to probe the faces required, so the only way to know if my G54 is set correctly in this case is to interrogate the only known features on the part, which happen to be the drilled dowel holes. What we need is a tool in which we can determine the coordinates from the center of the dowel holes to the G54, so that when we have the setup on the machine, we can double check it against Fusion 360 to give us that peace of mind that it has been set up correctly on our machine tool and that the G54 is in the correct position. To measure from the G54 or active point to these hole centers, hit the keyboard shortcut I. This will bring up the measure command. Make sure the show snap points is checked. Select the G54 point and then any of the centers of the circles of the holes. Activate the delta XYZ checkbox to see the X, Y and Z coordinates as measured from the G54 position. It's worth pointing out that you can change the units of the measuring dialog to better match those that are used by the controller on your machine. Another way to check this is to use the probe geometry functionality in the probing dialog to set a tolerance on the position and size of the inspected holes. And should that be out of position, we can force the controller to stop and give us a warning that effectively lets us know that the G54 has not been accurately set. We're posting content regularly on YouTube, so hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. From me, cheers.